This is a Helmholtz coil. It's a configuration with two loops of wire where the separation between the loops is the same as the radius of the loops. And we can take advantage of our knowledge of the magnetic field from the current in a wire. So when we put a current through these loops of wire in the Helmholtz coil, it turns out the magnetic field right at the center of the pair of coils is very uniform. And if you know the radius of the coils and the number of loops of wire in the coils, you can calculate what the magnetic field is in the center of the coils. What we need to do next is place the compass in the center of the coils in this region of very uniform magnetic field. If we can line up the magnetic field from the coils so that it's exactly perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field, or at least the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field, then when we put a current through the coils, we can use the deflection on the compass and a little bit of vector addition uh, to get what the magnetic field of the Earth is. Here's the power supply we're going to use to put current through the Helmholtz coil. But uh, because it's such a small amount of current that we need, we're going to control it by putting a resistor in series. So here's the uh, resistor connected to the ground part of the power supply. And then we're just going to measure the voltage across that resistor and use Ohm's law to calculate the current going through there. It's just very hard to control that fine of a current uh, with this particular power supply, uh, but it's easy to control that with a resistor. Here's a measurement of the resistance of the resistor we're gonna use. You can see it's marked red, yellow, brown, and it's reading 235.7 ohms. So we'll use Ohm's law to calculate the current through the Helmholtz coil. Okay, here I think we have it set up so the camera can record both the compass and the voltmeter at the same time. So what I'm going to do is turn up the voltage, and that's going to put a current through the Helmholtz coil, and that should deflect the needle. Okay, uh, here it is with a deflection of about uh, 10 degrees. It looks like the voltage is 0.453, so you can use the voltage. Uh, we can use Ohm's law to get the current going through the Helmholtz coil and then the uh, equation for the magnetic field in the center of the Helmholtz coil to figure out what uh, that magnetic field is. Okay, let me increase it again. Okay, now it's up to about a 20 degree deflection. And we're at 0.877. Thirty degrees looks like one point four one four volts. There's a uh, forty degree deflection. Oh, that's right at two volts, two point oh oh six. That's uh, interesting. Getting a strong magnetic field is affecting the camera on the phone here. So now we're up at 50 degrees. Uh, looks like 2.826 volts. Let's keep going up here at uh, 60 degrees. Get a 60 degree deflection when we're at 4.079 volts. And we can go up a little bit more. There's about 70 degrees, uh, 5.701 volts, and we'll, we'll go on up to 80. Uh, when the magnetic field is so much stronger than the Earth's magnetic field, um, sometimes these last points are outliers, but that's easy to see from the graph. Uh, okay, up to 80 degrees at 10.22 volts.
Okay, let's turn it back down. We'll turn everything off. 